Yo, back at you with another big U vid. He speaks on the Migos. Y'all check this shit out. <clears throat> Born artist no more. I was doing shows. I was making more money doing shows because I hadn't made not one dime with them. Wow. You know what I'm saying? I was I was booking shows, booking talent coming in, and I'm making fifteen twenty thousand dollars when the artist oh, for no, Dean, I was making way more money. Way more. I'm making oh, no, you're talking about, you were talking about just booking concerts. Booking concerts. Or, like putting the bread behind, right. bringing some people out, doing the promotion. Doing my own yeah. concerts, yep, yep. getting numbers. I might have, I might holler at Wiz, like, Wiz, what's, what's your number for booking? Yeah. And then, look, I'm going to put 10000 on it. Or, what's your number for this? I'm going to put 5000 on it. And he like, okay, Uncle, if you get my number up that high. And so what, what people didn't never <laughs> understand is I never cut an artist's number. Mm. Ever. I never cut an artist's number for nothing. Only for radio shows. Because radios you do different. Yeah, it's but different. Every artist I ever met and ever did business with me, they give me a number, and I'm tell me what their number is. I'm gonna get the deal higher than that because I know the promoters who are gonna really pay, and that's the relationship you want with Big U because I'm gonna make sure you get paid your money. When 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 the Migos came, I had the Amigos book for three shows at fifteen thousand a piece. Danny Glover goes on the Grammys. And they asked him, what is he listening to? He says, I'm listening to the me. Bad and bougie, yeah. Bad and bougie. Yep, it was over after that. And yep. the number went from 15000 to a hundred. Yeah, I remember. I was trying to book them at that time. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm aware. But I was the only one who, who they was let booking them because mm -hmm. I had a relationship with them through Atlanta, from Atlanta. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? So, and and that's what, that's what, that's what, you know, we do as power brokers in this, in this industry. It ain't, it ain't violence. It ain't, you know, it ain't the bullshit. But I might know the promoter you don't want to deal with. Right. I might know the promoter who who ain't going to pay you. I might know, look, you don't want to charge radio. You want to do this. No, you don't want to take 30 of your homeboys to this concert and backstage and y'all risk it and getting into with somebody at AEG. Right. You get into an AEG, you can't play no concerts around. Yeah, you're fucked. That's what we for, do. For sure. Yo, what up? Taking a